Hello there, we want to go over how to reformat a table for publication. Here is another table here that's been delivered to me by my co-author and it's very hard over the internet to explain how you want your partner or co-author or research assistant or PhD student to reformat. So here's the table that we've got and we're trying to format it for publication. Obviously there's some problems. Number one, you've got an area here that, an area here that the font size is much larger than other areas. You've got some parts where it's in italic and also the overall width of the table is just beyond uh, what looks nice. So let's just change a few things. So number one, we want to have a look, first of all, have a look at what does the formatting look like. So we go up here and we see that, wow, there's a space there. Maybe we don't need that. There's a lot of extra spacing here. I don't know why that is in here. A lot of dots, you know. In other words, that's inefficient. It's important to use tabs rather than just endless dots, endless spacing. Next, Let's have a look at the size. Obviously, this is much larger than, and this wraps, by the way, this wraps around onto the next tape, onto the next page. So maybe we make this a little bit smaller and see what problem we've got and how can we get all of this into one page? Well, sure you can, you can get it all into one page, but we're gonna take a bit of work here. So we want to reduce that by, maybe one okay and so now we want to start thinking about the width of the whole table and even when we move that in we're going to get some wrap around then we're going to lose some in in efficiency so maybe we don't want to move it there maybe we want to get some width on this side here and i know we're going to get some wrap around here and but what we want to do is step one we push that in on the side and then Let's select some of the columns and then we will go into the layout and then we are going to click on distribute columns. So we are click on here and again, now all of the columns are evenly distributed and it looks as though that we have preserved the spacing between the columns. There's no wraparound. And so that's a good sign. And maybe we can go one step further and we can push that in again. Okay, so we originally get wrap around and it goes on to the next page, maybe two pages this time, three pages. But now what we want to do again, we want to spread that out again. And so then we go up to distribute columns. We want to automatic and then that is looking good. Okay, so now we have a table where the width of the table makes sense. And now we want to go to the next step and that we want to think about, can we make this table? Let's just clean it up a little bit. Is there some way that we can make the, the rows more efficient? So you can see some of the rows here around here. We can see that the formatting or the alignment of the columns within each row doesn't make sense. So let's try and get the alignment uh, working. So we can select the whole table here and let's, find out where the alignment is. So maybe we want to get the alignment uh, in the middle, align center or align on the side. Okay, and so now we have the alignment of all of the rows, it makes sense. But now we want to f figure out how come some of these are thicker rows than others. So we can manually actually adjust, we can manually push that up, but that's not going to work. So we want to maybe redistribute the rows evenly, but that is not working. So now we can figure out the height. So maybe we want to move the row height down a little bit. So let's adjust the height. Can we do that? No, we can't. So now we want to go into home and we go into line and paragraph spacing. So if we click on one, we again, we're adjusting it again, and that, that's getting closer together. But let's click on another one. Let's do, let's go line spacing options, 
and now we want to go to zero zero and then line spacing we want exactly and we'll probably want to bring this down to 10 point if we want to get all of this into one page of course we're going to have to make the font size down to 10 points so let's see what happens wow that really makes a big difference doesn't it but now we want to bring the font size down to 10 to fit in and now it's now we've got that table onto one page wow how did we do that and so if we make an adjustment of the last rows where we've got statistics and f statistics and vif we can do the same to that first of all bring it down to one or we want to bring it down to line spacing options and we want to go to zero and then we want to bring exactly bring it down to 10 and then OK. And then we make the font size, make sure that is 10. And then we want to go to layout and make sure that we have this maybe in the center. Maybe in the center is OK. Let's just uh, go back one or two. Mm. OK, and then let's just have a look it's just on the side here all right now we've got it on the side okay so now we've got the table in one page amazing isn't it so we can delete that and then that brings us to the, so we've got everything now let's just clean up we don't need to see all of the markings now so that goes away now suddenly the table i know it looks like fly swats like all the numbers are together but Again, we need to think about what we are trying to present and maybe the top row, we can uh, just make the technology, give that an extra space here. Cookstein needs two technology again. Let's just uh, fix up technology so it goes onto one line and the rest is okay. We want to take away maybe a space behind here so we can delete that. So let's have a look what we got here. We've got something going on here that we don't want. So obviously, uh, let's go into here, down to one. And now, let's see if we can move that up. I want to know what's going on here. So maybe there's an extra space going on. So let's just click on here to find out. No, there's not. So we've got a problem here that we need to fix. So let's just have a look, line spacing options. Ah, we've got eight point, no wonder why. So we bring it down to zero, bring it down to exactly. We can make that 10 point if we have to. And now suddenly, now we're bringing that up and it's closer to what we want. Okay, this formula is at 11, maybe that's too much. We can bring that down to 10 and then suddenly we save another line. Maybe under notes, we want to now bring that across make that nicer here let's have a look mm, that didn't work let's just go back a bit all right this note we want to move this across okay so that makes it's aligned up properly and we take away this and suddenly we've got a table that is all on one page wow now maybe you think well that's too close together but that's when we need to start thinking about you know if there's some of these variables that we need to take out and say that we include the following control variables because some of these variables are control variables and some of them are main effect or hypothesis testing variables now the other thing is i would actually put these interactions they need to go at the bottom of any proper hierarchical regression. So even if I click here, we need to put a line at the bottom of all the analysis. And so now we have we know where the analysis begins and finishes. How do we move that up to the top? Well, it's possible we can select all of that and then drag it to here. Now, oh, that didn't work, did it? Well, what are we going? What? What happens when you drag this up here and then suddenly, boom, 
you lose everything. Well, we've got to go back and we've got to figure out another way, don't we? Well, one way to do it may be to add in some spaces at the top. And how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to move this down. We move to move this down. Okay, and now we've got some spaces and now we can create extra spaces and we might have to create 20 of them. Now, don't worry about the line so much at the moment. What's important is that we have plenty of space to move all of this area. All okay, right, up to the top and we want to move that to there. And there we have that. And so now uh, let's just make sure that is working. So age is the last one. Let's just have a look. Make sure age is the last one and component compare so we've got four interactions and then we're moving and we've got age at the bottom 1.221 let's just make sure that when we move that now we've got 1.221 that's working and now we can clean up the bottom part how do we clean it up well then we can remove all of these rows and so delete rows and now we're back and now we have the interactions here we need to clean up these lines here how do we do that well we go into here and then we go into delete no border ah but then we lose this one here so how do we do what do we do now well now we need to put in a border at the bottom and then we're back so now we have our main effects at the top and we have our interactions at the bottom and you may think well this is a bit too close together but this is a definitely improvement on what we have done started with and that's what four main tables is all about is make it nice for readers you need to make it easy for the reader to understand and follow the table and so there we have our new table formatted or set i'm not sure if these are the best results that we can present but it, the table certainly looks better and looks like there's lots of flies being swatted here so we might need to make it clearer even clearer by putting a line here in between the main effects and the analysis that actually shows the interactions but we don't need to go that far at the moment the purpose of today was to bring a table that it goes over two pages we want to bring it down into one page and there we have it See you in the next section. I hope this is helpful for you in learning how to format tables. Bye for now.